What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link in discount code down in the description. And talk about the fallout from EA Sports not having anything to show for the national championship game. Now, I know some people have kind of pushed back and said, listen, cover athlete reveal during the Dr. Pepper commercial, but take that with a grain of salt. EA Sports didn't officially release anything. Matt Brown here on Twitter basically saying, sharing this quick update that he's getting DMs, he believes the internet has got ahead of itself, and that obviously he was kind of getting inundated with people asking when, where, how, why. As I mentioned in my video, so much of this pushed back to the 24-7 sports report, which, you know, if EA wants to paint that as, you know, inconsistent journalism or not having sources, I suppose they're free to do that. But the reality is, this was the college football championship game. There has been a lineage of EA Sports releasing information about its game during that time, and this is the key demographic that they're aiming for. So when he goes on to say, listen, I know everyone wants to know when the game is coming out. EA has been targeting July. And goes on to say, listen, I don't really care about the exact date. Clearly you guys do. Hope it helps you to plan for July. To me, in a way, th this kind of makes it worse. Because let's go over what we know, okay? We, we know that around 2020... EA Sports came out, said they were going to come back into the college football gaming sphere. They worked out an agreement that had a little bit of a back and forth to get collegiate athletes into the game. They tell us that they've got a whole team devoted specifically to this game. They tell us that then it's going to be built on the Madden engine. And then pretty much since then, we haven't heard anything. So now we're essentially set to believe that this game is going to release in six months. And when you have the largest core group of people that you would be having the game appeal to, you have nothing to show. Not a screenshot, not a snippet, not an update. You have nothing. I can't even begin to fathom how irrational that is. Because if you're saying the game is going to release in July... I would highly doubt that you're sitting there and programming key game features, right? As an example, if Dynasty Mode is in the game, Dynasty Mode is in the game. They're not going to be sitting here and programming Dynasty Mode over the next six months so that it can release in July. So the fact that they don't have anything to show for a game that a dedicated team has been working on over at least the last two years, is way more concerning to me than somebody just saying, well, we didn't have anything prepared. The moral of the story is EA Sports is not prepared. And this is why, as consumers, we're naturally skeptical of the quality of your product, because we've seen what happens when you have to put a game out each year, right? Madden, year over year, continually, one of the worst sports titles We've seen what happens when they have to go and deal with a brand new game engine. UFC has been an absolute abomination. And then now you're telling us that you took the same broken game engine, but you took a whole core group of people and you devoted two years to building a game. And when you had every eye on the championship game for the year that game was going to release... When everyone that you would want to buy this game was sitting there watching and an opportunity that had been capitalized on in the past time and time and time again, you had absolutely zero to show for yourself. And then now your defense of this kind of revolves around this thought process of, well, the game is going to be out in six months anyway. We never told anyone officially that we were going to be releasing anything, and it sounds like the internet just kind of got out of control with a rumor. I will completely agree that if 24-7 Sports didn't have any accredited source for this, they are partially to blame. But I would also offer that it's very logical that EA Sports was well aware that gamers... Customers 
college football fans would have a natural expectation of when this game was being made 10 years ago. Every single year, they would release something about the game during the championship game that this year would be no different. And if you weren't going to do that, then all you would need to do is come out a week ahead of time, 10 days ahead of time, on a Twitter account that has not posted anything for over two years other than coming soon, and say anyone that's expecting information during the championship game, unfortunately, we don't have anything set, but we are working on things to present to you. We are going to bring you some dev diaries. We are excited to show this game we've been working on, and we understand that it's frustrating that we haven't had any information yet, but that will cease very shortly because we're planning on releasing in July. If you look at the time frames of when this game would normally come out, let's understand that you need to have it at a different pacing than Madden. You can't release college football and Madden in the same week, in the same month. So if you're going to have your traditional August, September Madden release, a June or July college football release seems very, very commonplace. They're likely going to be extremely similar games, just with, I guess, different subjects. No pun intended, because we're talking about a college game. EA Sports, this year, I will say, has done more to listen to its customer than before, in the fact that they went out, they put back in the mini camps, they put in the mini games. But what they've continued to focus on is making Madden Ultimate Team the priority. And if you're not aware, when NCAA was being made, they didn't have an NCAA Ultimate Team, or as some have referred to it as, quite comically, NUT. My concern is that you're going to have NUT, if you will, become the embodiment of NCAA Football 2024, just as it has with Madden. That is where the focus is going to be, that is where the effort is going to go, and every game mode is going to systematically be designed to leave you unsatisfied as a gamer and drive you in to nut. And from there, you're going to have the traditional experience of short, skill-based goals that you need to go achieve. And then you will be rewarded so that you can go play games against each other online, not as the college team that you want, but rather as a team that you build. When you talk about college football fans versus the NFL fan, they are much more attached to their team and their players. In the NFL, you might be attached to your team, but the players constantly have an ebb and flow. There's trades, there's contract negotiations. You can have a favorite player, for me, Darius Leonard, one of my favorite Colts. I don't dislike him because he went to the Eagles. If I was forming Madden Ultimate Team, I would have no problems getting a Darius Leonard Eagles card. But, to that point, you're not going to find one Ohio State fan that is going to say, yes, let me go get the Jim Harbaugh coaching card to use. That is where Nut, if you will, is really going to struggle when it comes to the NCAA marketplace, because they're just not going to be the same mindset of gamer. You are not going to have someone opening a Nut Pack that's a Michigan fan excited when they get the Brutus Buckeye card and they can play as him in the mascot mode. Those videos won't get the raving reviews that the Madden Ultimate Team gamers get. The reality is, whether the game releases in six months or not, EA should be well ahead in marketing, way more prepared for what they are, and we should have something tangible to talk about, not hoping that they're going to give us the product that we've asked for and deserve for years. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching it. You know, unlike NCAA gaming information from EA Sports, I will be back in the week with more commentary.